Hello and welcome back to Yoga with Krista. This practice video is a wonderful gentle stretch for you to enjoy with gentle movement for your body and your mind. Let's get started. Extend your legs out in front of you. Extend your arms and start to roll down onto your back. Bring your knees to your chest, wrap your arms around your legs and press your back into the floor and then start to gently rock from side to side, gently massaging your back into the floor. Keep your breath steady here. And when you're ready, gently lift your legs up, grab your feet, bend your knees out wide while you hold on to your feet with your hands. Happy baby stretch. You're pressing your back into the floor and the back of your head into the floor as you push down onto your feet with your hands. A wonderful stretch for your back and your hips. Take deep, steady, fluid breaths. And then gently release, stretch your right leg out in front of you. Keep that left knee bent in, then hold that knee with both hands and start to pull it out to the left. You're trying to pull your left knee to your left armpit. At the same time, you're stretching that right leg out in front of you, flex through that foot. Deep breathing as you push your back into the floor and pull that knee in. Now straighten that left leg up and gently start to stretch that left leg towards your face as you reach the toes of your right foot towards the floor. Honor your body here and only take the stretch as far as you can. Don't overstretch that hamstring glute insertion. From here, gently release and bend both knees back to your chest and stretch your left leg out. Keep that right knee bent in and start to pull it out to the right like you're trying to pull that right knee towards your armpit. You're reaching your left foot out in front of you as you push your back down into the floor and continue to pull that right knee to your right side. From here, gently pull that leg up, grab behind your calf, and start to gently pull that straight right leg towards your face as you keep stretching your left leg out in front of you. Remember to keep your breath steady and focus here on pressing your whole back down into the floor. Great job. Now gently release, bend that right knee, then bend that left knee back into your chest. And again, stretch your right leg out. This time, take that bent left knee over the right side of your body. And if you're comfortable, take your head to the left. So as we breathe here, you're pushing your back down. You're pulling that left knee over to the right with your right hand. Your left hand is on the mat to your side and you're looking over your left shoulder. Deep breathing with sound. Gently bring your head to center, then your left knee, then pull those knees in and switch. Your right knee's pulled in. Slowly drop that right knee over to your left side. Push your right hand down into the floor, turn your head to the right, look over your right shoulder. Your breath is steady. You're stretching that left leg down and out as you keep pushing that right leg over to the left with your left hand. Great job. Gently bring your head to center, then your right knee, then pull that left knee back in, both knees to your chest, and then begin to rock. We're gonna rock about three to five times. Gently rock up and down your back. And after three to five rocks, bring yourself to sit up tall at the top of your mat. Perfect. Now stretch your legs out and then bend the knees a little bit so you create a diamond shape. Your feet are together, grab your ankles with your hands and begin to extend out over your hips, folding over your diamond shaped legs. Keep engaging your back by gently retracting your scapula as you continue to fold further into this posture. This can feel like an intense stretch, so please honor your body only go as far as you're comfortable. But if flexibility allows, you're welcome to bring your forehead to your feet and continue breathing in the posture. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Now pull those feet all the way towards your pelvis. And if you can, wrap your hands underneath your feet. Sit up super tall, retract your scapula, and bring the skin of your chin towards the skin of your chest. Five deep breaths here in Baddha Konasana. It's okay if your knees are up quite high, or if your hips are open and your knees come down towards the floor. Honor your body and just go where you can today. Now inhale, lengthen your spine. Keep your left hand gripped around your left foot. Take your right hand to the left side of your head. 
and then gently start stretching your head to the right. As you hold your left foot with your left hand, think of retracting your scapula down to create stability or tensegrity for this stretch in your neck. And switch. Bring your right hand underneath your right foot. Grip it strong. Sit up nice and tall. Take your left hand to the right side of your head and start to stretch your head to the left while retracting the scapula down as you hold that right hand around your foot. Keep sitting tall and keep your breath steady. And gently release your hand from your head, release your hands from your feet, and bring your legs out just a little bit wider than you had before. This time take your left hand to your right knee, right hand to the floor beside you, and with your inhale, lengthen your spine, and with your exhale, start to gently rotate over to your right. You're looking over your right shoulder, keep pressing down through that right hand, and strongly grip your left hand around your right knee. On your next inhale, slowly look forward, release your hands. Now bring your right hand to your left knee, left hand to the floor next to your left hip. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, rotate over to the left, looking over your left shoulder. With each and every inhale, lengthen your spine. And with each exhale, try to rotate a little bit more. Great job. Inhale to center, gently release your hands. With your knees bent, gently roll down on your back, then drop those knees over to the right. Make sure your knees are in line with your hips and your feet are stacked on top of each other. The same thing with your arms, stack your arms, and then start to open out to the left. You're taking your left arm over to the left. You're looking over your left shoulder. We're gonna breathe here five deep breaths. Keep gently pressing those legs together. Keep pressing your right arm down into the floor as you let your left arm hang and stretch yourself open to the left. Inhale, bring your left arm back on top of your right, and then we're gonna switch sides. Roll over to your left. Make sure that your knees are in line with your hips, your feet are in line with your knees, your spine is stacked. Bring your left arm to the floor, stack your right hand on top of it, and then slowly take that right arm out and open as far as you can, hopefully touching that hand to the floor. You're looking over your right shoulder, Five breaths as you gently push your legs together. Inhale, take your right arm back up and then roll into your back. Bring your knees into your chest and rock yourself up yet again to seated position. From here, stretch your legs straight out in front of you and then bend your right knee up. Leave space between your right foot and your left thigh and either wrap your left arm around or over your bent right knee, right hand to the floor behind you. You're looking over your right shoulder. Every inhale, try to lengthen your torso and every exhale, just rotate a bit more over your right. Keep that breath steady. Give me a little internal rotation of your left thigh as well. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, gently release your right leg and come right into your left side. Bend your left knee up. Make sure there's space between your foot and your thigh. Take your right arm around your bent left knee, left hand to the floor. And with each inhale, lengthen your spine. And with each exhale, gently rotate over to the left, looking over your left shoulder, Parswadristi. Keep that breath steady and keep gently internally rotating your right thigh. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release both legs. Now bring your hands behind you. Then bend your knees for our tabletop. Push your pelvis up and take your head back wherever it's comfortable. For these five breaths, really focus on pushing through the hands and pushing through the feet as you press that pelvis up. Deep, steady breathing. Exhale, gently lower your hips, stretch your legs out in front of you, and then once again, roll down onto your back for me. You're now gonna bend your knees, bring your feet close to your glutes, hip distance apart, and we're gonna press up into our first bridge of the day. Please make sure you're pressing the back of your head into the floor and lifting your chin up as you do this exercise. Five breaths as you're working to gently push the hips as high as you can. And exhale, gently lower back down. Good job. And again, gently press your pelvis up. Please check in with your neck. Make sure you're gently pressing your head back and lifting your chin. Keep your breath steady. Keep your bandhas strong. And exhale, lower back down. One more time when you're ready. 
Inhale, press your pelvis up. You can stay right where you are if you'd like. You can walk your shoulders underneath you and interlace your hands for our last bridge. It'll help you get a little bit more lift from your pelvis. Slow, steady, deep, even inhales and exhales. Gently exhale lower down. Stretch those legs out in front of you. Inhale, slowly roll up to a seated position. And exhale, fold forward over those straight legs. If you can, hold on to your shins with your hands. If you can, you're welcome to grab the outer feet or even bind your hands. Just make sure that you're keeping that extension through your spine, that you're hinging from your hips and not rounding your back as you do your forward bend. Check in with your breath, check in with your bandhas. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then gently cross your legs or take half lotus or full lotus if you're comfortable. Bring the back of your hand to your knees, thumb and index finger together and draw the chin towards the chest for Padmasana, lotus posture. Give me the deepest, strongest breaths you've taken so far today. Ensure you're sitting up as tall as you can with a straight spine. Focus on your pelvic engagement. Each inhale, squeeze Mulabandha. Draw that breath up your spine. And bring your palms together. And please join me in Om. Om. From here, gently turn around, lie down on your back, and take rest. And for the next few moments of your day, allow your body to grow heavy into the earth beneath you. Return back to a natural rhythmic breath. And allow your body to reap the benefits of the practice you've just given it. Slowly start to come back, wiggle those fingers and toes. Stretch your arms overhead, stretch your feet out in front of you. Bend your knees, bring your knees into your chest and rock from side to side, massaging your back into the floor. Allow your body to fall to the right and take a few more deep breaths here. And whenever you're ready, inhale up to a seated position. I wish you a beautiful day. Namaste. If you are somewhat new to yoga or to this channel, be sure to check out the Yoga Tutorials playlist. You'll find tutorial videos breaking down every single standing, seated, and finishing posture from the Ashtanga Yoga Primary Series. You'll find some guided yoga practices, and it really is a great place for you to start, especially if you're really interested in creating or deepening an at-home yoga practice. If you're enjoying our guided practice videos and our tutorials, consider checking out my live stream classes. I teach Monday through Friday morning right here in Winter Park, Florida, and I live stream all of those classes. So no matter where you are in the world, you can join me to get some live instruction and feedback on your practice. 
I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check out the class offerings and the workshops that I offer. I hope you enjoyed today's guided stretch. I hope you're able to carry some of the peacefulness with you throughout your day. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.